Hi guys, remember last week Mrs. Evans taught us a song to go with Lent, a song where we think about repentance and what God has done for us. So this week, we're going to practice that a little more, Yeah, right? we're going to start learning it. Now remember, this is a video, so you can rewind me and watch it again if it's going too fast. You can't do that in a classroom, so that's kind of cool. First off, I'm going to sing it once through, but I have a question for to stretch your music brains a little bit. I wonder if you can tell me whether this song is major, that means do is the home note, or minor which means law is the home note. So if you understand what that means, my, my students who have been with me for a few years, see if you can tell just by listening whether it's major or minor. Remember, O thou man, O thou man, O thou man, remember, O thou man, thy time is Admit that's a little tricky because what it, okay, what's your guess? Do I guess? You you can guess Mrs. Miller, what do you think? I guess minor. You guess right. But it's a little bit tricky because even though law is the home note, which does make it minor, there's all these notes that aren't normally in the mm -hmm. minor scale. So in order to help us learn some of those funky sounding notes, which make this song sound so cool, I'm going to use some hand gestures. So now I'm going to break the song down. It comes in four little pieces. I'm going to sing each piece three times. Listen the first time. If you need to listen the second time, you can, or you can sing if you're ready, and then sing with me the third time. And I'll try to cue you in like I usually do so you can see when it's time for you to sing. So here's the first little chunk. Remember, O oh, thou man, O oh, thou man, O oh, thou man. Here it is again. Remember, O oh, thou man, O oh, thou man. Here's the next chunk. My turn first. Remember, O oh, thou man, thy time is spent. Now join me if you can. Remember, O oh, thou man, thy time is spent. And again. Remember, little chunk. Remember, O thou man, how thou camest to me then. Second time. Remember, O thou man, how thou camest to me then. Last time. Good job so far. Here's our last chunk. And I did what I can therefore repent. Again. And I did what I can therefore repent. Last one. And I did what I can therefore repent. At the end there, the notes are going down, but there's still some of them are higher than we might expect. That's why my fingers move up. Let's try longer chunks. I'll sing the first half, then we'll sing it again, and then I'll sing the second half and we'll sing it again, and that's all we'll have time for today. So now let's do it twice as long of chunks, and I'll sing it two times. You join me on the second time through each chunk. Here I go. Remember, O oh, thou man, O oh, thou man, O oh, thou man, remember, O oh, thou man, thy time is spent. Remember, O oh, thou man, O oh, thou man, O oh, thou man, remember,
Mrs. Miller, you are a quick study. Uh, she did not practice I this thought move I messed before it up this a video. couple of times. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. It's very beautiful. Yeah, I love this song. I can't wait for you to finish learning it next week. I'll see you then. All right. Bye. Well, last week, remember what was in Noah's box? I found it. This. This rock. And if you read from Matthew chapter 7, then you heard the story that Jesus told to remind us of the importance of a good foundation, right? If we build our lives on the foundation of obedience to his word, our house will stand strong when the rains come, right? Well, we know somebody whose house stood firm when the rains came. Maybe it didn't stand firm, it floated firm, right? Who would that be? Noah. Let's call Noah, ready? One, two, three. Hey, Noah! Oh, I went to the end Ooh. of the air. I the hear him. The beasts were there. The big baboon by the light of his moon was combing his eyes. Oh, ah, Noah, you the came on the first call. And ran up the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees, and that was the end of the monk. monk the monk. monk, the the monk. monk. <laughs> Hello, Christina. How are you? I, I am surprised great. you. I came you in early. I was completely fooled me. I bet to, you fooled all to the go. kids, too. I bet you fooled them all. I fooled all of you. You <laughs> thought you were going to have to call him three times. Oh, my He goodness. is a tricky guy. Tricky. All right. Yeah. Well, I have a different kind of joke for you today. Okay. Is it... It's not an elephant joke? It's not an elephant joke. All right, joke. so we've had My chimpanzee and My song gives you a clue. A monk. A monkey. It's a chimpanzee joke. Oh, we love Oh, him. this is a good one. One to tell your friends. Okay, I'm ready. What do you call a chimpanzee that is really good at winning in sports? A champanzee. Close. A champion. A champion. A champion. Oh, I was on the right track. Okay, remember that. Champion. So you can tell your siblings and your friends and your cousins. Oh, yes. Yeah, All you get a laugh. Your okay. neighbors. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, last week, Noah, you had this rock. And the kids should have read the story that Jesus told about building our lives on the rock. Let's see what's in there this week. You know I have absolutely I know. no idea. It's always a surprise. Dun, da, da, da. I know what this is. Yeah. Whoa. Look. A crown. That. I don't think I should put that on. I'm oh not my goodness. That, that is very, quite a crown. Quite, yeah, it's got jewels in it and everything. Woo. Well, kids, we know what crowns are for, right? They're for kings. You know some kings in the Bible? Well, who do you think this one might be for? If you think about the time of year we're in, that's a good hint, right? Okay, see if you can look at a time in the life of Jesus when he might have been called a king. And we'll see you next week. Bye!